welcome back to some more power world yeah boy it's a bit of a weird episode recording right now because i'm currently recording another episode um we're doing teeth and breeding and it's taking a little longer than i thought it would so i decided to go and do some other stuff while they're doing their business so i don't know how this is going to be released to work so either teeth and breeding just came out or tomorrow teeth and breeding is coming out so just so you know what's going on but yeah whilst that's all happening we've been up to some of the bits and pieces um i've upgraded the base we finally created a improved furnace and this bad boy it, it goes fast it's so much faster than the original forge things we've also unlocked the refined ingots which we need coal for and i don't think i've actually found any coal but I think we're going to need that for, um, like, refined armor and better tools and stuff. Um, but we don't need to worry about that today. What we do want to worry about is creating this saddle. I've just made up a bunch of fiber. Um, boom. And star production. And can I just throw out Tetris to make that for us? Remember that dark fire horse we got last episode? Yeah, I, I want that. That's going to be my new mount because clearly i'm a dark trainer dark 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 our new mount's gonna be dark and wixen's just a fire because i like them so this horse somewhere we've got um we've got four of them so we've got a, a no skills motivational leader uh increases my work speed okay bottomless stomach or destructive i mean we'll go for you for now our good old Dire How with the runner skill is going to be a goner. He did well. Uh, what's your, like, attack? 346. We have a 370. I guess we're a high level. Oh, man. I'm going to miss Dire How. He did, he did a really good job, man. He really did. So what we're going to do today, we're going to do... Um, well, I want to go down here. We're going to go and explore whatever this thing is. I want to see what that is. And then, if possible... I want to get to the obelisk up top of the volcano. I want to see what that boss is. Um, you know, just kind of so we know what creatures we need to start breeding. And then what we'll probably do is fight this guy. Um, whatever you will fight this guy. There's this guy here. I just want to do a bunch of bosses. Uh, I don't think we've actually uncovered this area down here either. So, um, yeah, there's just going to be a lot of bits and pieces getting done today. But obviously, first things first, let's get this saddle created. Uh, you're doing a very good job there. So, uh, yeah, before we do jump any, any further, if you do enjoy the Power World content, make sure you are whacking a like, make sure you are subscribing, and you ring the bell, never the notifications, follow the social medias. A massive thank you for all the support on the Power World. Like, honestly, a brand new game on the channel that does so well, it makes me feel good. So, a big thank you. I do appreciate it, like, massively. Okay. Catch us. Did you, were you hungry? You were. Okay. Um... I think we might need a water creature for this. Uh, so what we're going to do, Catrus, you're actually going to go away. For, not Catrus, sorry, Wixen. Uh, where's we, Where's Serpent? Uh, did I miss some? Serpent. Serpent, Serpent. Oh, there you are. Gee, we only have one Serpent. Okay, interesting. Right, so we've got a Swimmer. We've got a Flyer. We've got a Rider. We've got a two Battle Mounts. Uh, we've got arrows, we've got an axe, we've got bullets. All right, I think we're good to fast travel. Let's go down here first. Um, well, I guess, to be fair, our base is the closest thing to it. Okay. Um, I'm interested to see what this is, because it's not just, like, ground. Like, it legit looks like a building of some sort. It's all the way down there. Okay. Um... Right, well, I mean, first things first, let's get you out, because I want to ride on you. Hell yeah, boys, that looks sick. Let's take the hood off, get a better look at us. Hmm. That looks fire flame. That looks so cool. Uh, how fast are we? Oh, there's a black marker to do down here. Oh. Hi. What are you doing hanging around here? kind of want to capture him or kill him. Uh... I trade in any kind of power, but I have it to types. What do you have? You got a Catrus. Um, I don't have any money on me because I've put it all away. Bottomless stomach. A swift gale claw. Hmm. I would like to capture you and then put you to work, but I also don't really want you on my team. All right, so it's down to you. So this dude has infinite stamina in the water. Um, I thought it was just like any water creature. 
but I read his little bio thing and it says like they just don't have <laughs> stamina when they're in the water. So yeah, that's amazing. I'm not sure if all of the water creatures do. There's only a couple of them. This dude, I'm going to guess the Gyarados looking guy. Um, Is there any other water creatures that like you can swim on? I'm not sure. Let's go see what this is. I wonder if there's like, um, I don't know, some sort of boss on here? Because this is, this is metal. This isn't rock. Yeah, this thing looks crazy. It is metal kind of stuff, right? That's not rocks. If it is, why are the rocks square? Because that's wild. No, this is that weird metal stuff that we've seen before. Not sure what that is. Maybe there's lore over here that's going to explain why this is happening or what this is. Uh, we do have some bones over there. Oh, what if it's like a dungeon or a human base here? And like in the dungeon, it's just full of humans with guns and you got to fight them. And there's a little, a little lab or something. Oh, that'd be kind of cool. Uh, okay, so I think this is technically ground. Uh, there's a flower. Okay. Uh, oh. Criminal activity underway. Huh. Okay. Are we not meant to be here? Is this like a GTA military base? What is that? Oh, it's a pen king. Yeah. Okay, there's also a chest. Criminal activity. Beautiful flowers. Oh, it's a grisbow. Oh, okay. Okay, we need to capture him. We've not caught a Grisbolt. Uh, level 21. Okay. Um, do a fire breath on him. Do flamethrower on him. Okay, I like that. Uh, that's not going to kill you, right? Uh, nope. Okay, and catch. Oh, there's a little pink kick walking around. Nice. All right, we're going to read Grisbolt because I did say we're not going to read Grisbolt until we caught him. I know he's at the bottom somewhere. Uh, can be ridden, can rapidly fire a minigun while mounted. So, with a friendly smile and a hardy physique, it is docile towards one of its recognized, to one it recognizes as a partner. For reasons unexplained, its personality undergoes a drastic change when wielding a minigun. So he's all nice and chill, but as soon as you put a gun in his hand, he just wants to murderize everyone. Huh, I'm going to guess I have to go up there. It's like a gate. Huh. What is this? Um, maybe this is like... Oh. As Azorub. Oh, there's another one. Okay, let's grab that as well. Hang on, let me just grab this chest. Oh! Yo, there's like a ground type of the deer. Okay, I, was, I wasn't I was expecting this. Uh, okay, we will go up there in a minute. All right, let's, let's capture you. Don't have you. Uh, you're a warder. Uh, so you might actually hurt me a little bit, right? And then I can do some fire. Oh, I love fire breath. And then we can shoot you a few times. Let's reload. Don't run away. And boom, and boom, and catch. Nice. Okay. Sick. We got that guy. Um, Where are you? Here we are. So that's the first one we call of that. Water wing dance can be ridden to travel on water. Well, there's another water creature. Um, applies water damage. So this pal's white ribbon turns black if doused with impure water. Given its usefulness in detecting poison, this pal was once overhunted. The past has left them bitter towards humanity. Ah. Oh. oh, are you after me? Where are you going? <laughs> Just running around? Okay. So we've got this guy who looks crazy. Fight me, bro. Yo, he's like all golden. Oh. Oh, he tries to chuck a rock at me then. And boom. Okay, let's see if we can get this guy. Okay, I wasn't planning on doing a big capture thing today, but it's happening. Alright, so I'm going to guess you're under your friend. Yo, I mean, I love the purple one, but this one's like in gold. Guardian of the Golden Forest can be ridden, can perform double jump, inf uh, increases efficiency of cutting trees. 
the individual with the hardest horns becomes the leader. Once the horns are lost, so too is the leadership status. It leaves the herd amidst farewell glances and quietly returns to the earth. Wait, what? It leaves the herd amidst farewell glances and returns to the... So it just goes in the ground? Is that what you're telling me? It just stares at them all while the ground consumes it? That sounds wild. Uh, there's another chest. There's another one of them. I feel like I need these flowers for summit. Oh, heat resistant undershirt. Okay. That might come in handy. So, like, what is this place? I need. Is it like law? Explaining what's going on here? There's just loads of flowers, some random creatures, and a lot of chests. Oh, didn't grab that one. I accidentally just now. Uh, oh, high-grade technical manuals. I have been collecting a bunch of these from Dun Dungeons. We're going to have so many points, we're never going to have to worry about it. Uh, an accessory that slightly raises heat resistance. All right. So, what is this? What is this place? Did someone build this? Is this something that comes out of the ground? Can I get up here? I have so many questions, and none of them are being answered. Yep. Right, to jump up here. And why is this a criminal activity? What what criminal activity am I doing? Number one, wildlife sanctuary. Oh. Number one, wildlife sanctuary. Like, these are ones... Um, hmm. So these are put here by someone? Is that, oh, look at the scales on us. God damn. Is that what we're saying? These dudes were all placed here to be protected? Is this like a, a no hunting zone? And we're out here capturing and hunting everyone? That's that. It looks like the other side is just going to be the back end of all this. And I don't feel like climbing all over that. Interesting. There's no fast travel here either. Mm, I wonder if there's another one over here. Because we have this random circle. And it doesn't explain why. We also have... Remember Quiven? When you look at Quiven's capture place... Is it there? Or is it, like, over here? So maybe there's a few of these knocking about? Interesting. Okay, right. What we're going to do next, uh, I guess let's go fight Univolt. I want to fight this guy as well. And then we're going to go to the volcano. Uh, do I have heat armor? We've got heat resistant and a heat resistant undershirt shirt as well. We've also got a cold resistant metal armor schematic. Hell yeah, boys. So we have a fast travel here. Uh, I've also got some Tiefens. Raided cam. They're low levels, which means this might be like a little starter area, maybe. Uh, boom. So this is the bottom here. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. This is a, this is a starter area because there's a dude here. Right. I've not caught a human yet. Um, should we try again? Okay, criminal activity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. This is the day. We capture a human. Nope. Get in the Pokeball. 21%. Oh, God. Uh, yeah, stop. Oh, look. He's just a... <laughs> it's just a, a random club. Stop hitting me on my head. Come on. 21%. 53%. <laughs> a captured human on Palagos Island. Capturing humans in Pals Fizz is considered... Inhumane. We did it. Everyone's been asking me to capture a human. We finally got one. Are you all happy now? <laughs> we could actually have them out and fight with us, but I feel like it's a little weird. Okay. I'm guessing I could just follow this beach all the way around. I don't think it's going to be anything too spicy here. Maybe a boss up top. Uh, we'll have a quick look around. Oh, FG though. Uh, if we don't find anything, I guess it's just the Univolt boss we're going to fight. Oh, we have found some stuff. Number one, there's a boss Gumos here, which we're definitely going to... Oh, there he is. We're definitely fighting that. There's, um... It's like the Mewtwo creature. I, I know you can breed stuff together to make that. I've seen all the clips on TikTok where they're like, You need this ultimate rare creature! Bobo, get this! Breed it with this! We're going to see if we can capture it if it's over there. Um, all right, Gumos. I will just kill you with my gun. Um... I could capture you, but I need to save my one good sphere to maybe try and get this dude. Also, there's a little effigy just down there. Uh, I think I see pillars for a teleport area. 
So we've only got one red Pokeball. We've got a couple of the gold ones. Um, it's level 32. I mean, we, we, we could probably still get it. We might be able to capture it. Let's just see what happens. All right. Let's have a look. So it's level 32. Uh, I guess let's just go in. Let's see what happens here. Oh, yeah. Look at that thing. Oh, oh okay. It wasn't ready. Hang on. A lu Lunaris. Yo, that thing looks fire. I know it's not a Mewtwo look like, but that's how people uh, described it. I can see why you describe it like that, because it floats and it's human shaped. But it looks nothing like Mewtwo. Oh, we're kicking butt. All right, I've got to keep an eye on its health. Uh, it's just a regular type, actually. It's just normal. It's not a dark. Okay. We'll see if we can get it, though. I'm trying to keep an eye on its health, dodge, and shoot at the same time. Headshots. Okay. Uh, Catrice, you've probably got one more shot in you at it. Okay, that's enough from you. All right, let's see. 30%. Come on. First try. First try, baby. First try. Let's go. Hell yeah. A Lunaris. That thing looks wild. Is that going to be like at the bottom? Oh, I thought it would be. I thought it'd be like a boss thing down there. Um. Oh, it's way up here. Yo. That does look cool, man. Anti-gravity. While in the team, manipulates gravity increases the player's max uh, carrying capacity. Sick. Okay, it can control those who carelessly stare into its eyes. Those seen with a Lunaris are in, in its mind, simply under its control. Oh, so that will literally mind control humans to do its bidding for it. That's cool. No, that thing was sick looking though. I really like the way that looks. That's neat, man. Ah, oh, If it was a dark type, we would have it on the team. But it's not, so I, I guess we don't. Apparently, it's real good, though. I have been told. We've got ourselves a boss Brachiosaurus just here. I mean, this is nothing special. Let's just go in and fight it. I'm not even going to jump off here. We're just going to fight you. One-on-one. -on -one. Right, charge. Yeah. I did not do as much damage as I put. Oh, it adds dark attack to me. Good, doesn't it? I was like, why is it doing that? <laughs> Add some more fight to you. Yo, the flamethrower is crazy. All right, some spirit flames. How's that health doing? Great, actually. I don't like the dark charge too much. It doesn't really do that much. All right, and some more fire. This would be cool to ride, though, a big alpha giant one of these. All right, do some spirit flames. This episode is now just a boss fighting episode. We're just flying through all the bosses. One more attack. Um, there we go. Nice. Cool. Uh, precious Dragonstone. Nice. So that's another boss. Uh, we'll probably loop up and around here and get to that Univolt. I think I did see a effigy somewhere. I swear I saw a green glow. Uh, is that it in the water? I sure did. Okay, I think we've got this last boss, which is just the sweeper. Um, and then from there, we can make our way over to Univolt. This one should be easy. It's a level 11. All right. And it's an ice type, which means fire is going to just wreck its butt. Uh, so that onto you. And that should probably kill you, right? I think I attacked its little, its little friend. We just killed the dad and all the babies are asleep. Um, is it fair for me to leave them alive? Because like they're going to wake up and panic. Their dad's dead. Or do I kill them all in their sleep? Hmm. <laughs> Conscious choices. I'm going to leave them all in their sleep so at least they wake up, they see the dead dad, but they're, at least they're alive. At least they have life. All right, there's me boy. Uh, level 31. We're actually going to switch out to Catrice for this one. This one might be a little bit more spicy. Oh, it was technically asleep. Uh, it's also got some weird textures on him. Uh, it's got like little black lines on him. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's not meant to be there. Maybe it's just because he's so big. Oh, God. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, oh, no, don't target me. Don't target me. Oh, this might hurt. Ow. Yep, that hurt. All right, Catrice, maybe we need to kill him a bit quicker. Because there's nothing to hide behind when he does that. All right. Uh, eh, to be fair, he only destroyed my shield. It should be fine, right? Uh, uh, yep, don't do that. Maybe just don't be hit by Max. Uh, okay. 
Tetris. You're also hungry. It's not time to be hungry. No, no, no. Don't lock, lock on. Okay, Tetris, do something. <laughs> uh, arm is damaged. How? No, no, no. You leave me alone. You leave me alone. This thing's cool, man. I like this. Uh, not as cool as my mount, but definitely pretty cool. And there we go, boys. Extra organs, all the usual stuff you think you'd get. Nice. All right, this is an effigy up there. We've collected a lot of effigies on our little travels today. Which is all good. There's also one all the way over there. Um, okay. I hate the ones that I have to climb for. <laughs> you don't need to jump, horse. All right, perfect. So... I want to go and fight this guy, and then we're going to go up top of the volcano. I have to say, there's something about riding this this horse thing that's it's so cool, man. It's so sick. Um, all right, Nox, you know what? Come on. You have a little go here. Let's kill... Oh, Jesus. Let's kill this beautiful... I want to say, like, butterfly dragon, right? Kind of what it looks like. Uh, he's just a straight-up dragon type. Oh, 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 oh. He's doing stuff. Okay. Uh, he's doing some more stuff. Uh, oh, power soul. Give me that. <laughs> Nox, you doing okay? Yeah, you are. You're doing all right. Oh, 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 oh. Please don't hurt me. Oh, God. he He's after me. Nox, you need to do more. Look at the little cute little guy go. So adorable. All right. <laughs> headshot, headshot, headshot. Oh, 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 oh. Tornadoes, please stop. Oh, God. I don't like them tornadoes, man. Um, you know what? Nox, I love you, but Catrice is just way stronger. Catrice is just a whole nother level. There we go. I think they take the attention more than Nox does as well. Um, we could potentially try and capture this. It's only half health. Jesus Christ. Nope. 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 Don't, no tornadoes, please. I don't like them. I'm doing alright now. These, these are tornadoes, right? Yep. Oh, God. Oh, jump into them, maybe? Oh, look at me doing backflips now. Okay. Uh, we'll try and capture this one. I don't think we've got it, right? Do we hatch this out of an egg at all? Let's have a quick look. If it dies, it dies. If it doesn't die, then it doesn't die. That's how we're doing this. I can always come back and get this another day. So I've only got one more good one of these. One more. Okay. That's our last chance. He gets out, we kill it. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. But get shit on. <laughs> get absolutely shit on. Nice. First time I killed that. So pretty much all the ones that we've killed, uh, I can just grind them off camera. I kind of want to do when we first do them on camera so we can all see it and whatnot. But yeah, all the ones with ticks I can do off camera, try and get some of the schematics from them, just get some XP. Uh, all that good stuff. All right, cool. That's all the bosses I want to do today. What we're going to finish up on is trying to get to the obelisk up top of the volcano. Because then we can start planning on what we need to do with that boss. Are we going to be able to get across here without dying? Maybe? Yeah, we should be good. Just needed to get back to my breeding base to get that fast travel. <laughs> All right, so what I've done, I've put my heat-resistant armor and my heat-resistant unders undershirt. Um, so that's just going to keep us extra, extra cool. So we're just going to fly all the way up to the top. Um, and I think there should be a fast travel next to the obelisk. I'll probably go home, drop my stuff off, then come back and, um, yeah, we just jump into the boss fight. We can have a look at what he is, what type in it is, and then work out what the heck we need to do to defeat it. All right, and we made it. That was a that was a long fly. <laughs> that really did take long. Are you huge? You know what? I'll take a large one. All right, so we've got one of them bad boys up here. We've got an effigy down in the lava, which I'm just going to ignore. Uh, there's also an effigy there. Do we have any law? Any law about this uh, giant obelisk on top of a volcano? All right, grab you. Uh, some more of them. Let's grab the fast travel just in case something bad happens. Uh, can anyone see any blue shininess? Uh, we do have sulfur here, though, which is good. Oh, that's actually real good. We literally fast travel here. Grab that sulfur. Sick. Um, definitely no lore. How am I meant to know what this guy is all about? If you're not going to tell me. 
All right. Um, let me... I'll tell you what we could do here. Because it's a single player, it's not a server, I'm actually going to log out. I'm going to change the death penalty to nothing so we won't lose anything. Uh, it just means I can just go in there, die, and then I'll respawn back at home with all my stuff. Rather than having to come back, pick all my stuff up before burning to death, running back, and it's just a whole ordeal. And I just don't want to deal with that today. So, yeah, let me do that. And then we're going to see what this guy is all about. Okay, should be ready to do this now. So, um, Tower of the Brothers of the Eternal Pi. This is just going to be a fire, dude, right? I would be shocked if this isn't a fire boss. So, let's see what we are dealing with here. Okay. Um... He looks very electric. What we got, boys? Um. Yep, that's electric. Is that an electric dragon, do we reckon? Yo. Axel and Obzerk. Hey, that's my name. <laughs> uh, oh, dragon and electric. Look at that. Okay. Okay. Um, what we're going to do here. Don't, don't kill me. Let me take that off. All right, kill me now. 130,000 health. That's like double. Yeah, that's like double what the last one had, right? Okay. An electric dragon. What's an electric dragon weak to? Um, electric, I'm going to guess, is ground. I have no idea what a dragon uh, is weak to, but we can have a look. So, yeah, that, I just wanted to see what we're dealing with so we can work towards that. All right, so we can pop you back off, pop that back on. Pop that back on. I know it's broke, but there we go. We look awesome now. Um, all right, uh, survival guide. Uh, elements. Okay, so ground is good against electric. Ice is good against dragon. Okay, so we want ice and ground types. Okay. I do like ice. Ice is definitely my second favorite type boys we could make a really good chile we've got these dudes as well you know what might be good uh, if i recall someone told me i think sweeper and swee work like the bees where if you have one big main one and then the rest of your team is the small ones your big main one becomes stronger Ooh. okay so I need to start putting together what ground types do we have? You know what might be easier if we go here? As you can see all the typing. Um, all right, so ground types. The Gumos, okay. <laughs> um, we could do them. I don't know if I want an army of Gumos. Um, we've got Fuddlers, we've got Rush Roars. Uh, hang you. Don't know how good they are at fighting though. Uh, oh, we do have this guy. Okay, there's actually way more grounds than I thought. We've got Doomuds. They're all, like, not very fast, though, right? They're all, like, big slow ones. Again, a, kind of a bigger slow one. Uh, okay. In terms of ice, obviously, we've got the penguins. Uh, we do have the crystal cat, which I actually got from... Oh, I completely forgot to read this dude out. I actually got him from a, a raider's camp yesterday. Um, but this is an ice cat. Or a crystal cat. So I guess I'll read this real quick. It's crystalline tail is beautiful, but shatters when this pal dies. Some believe it's good luck to raise one. So Mao Chris in captivity are treated with great care. Oh, that's sad. Uh, yeah, I completely forgot about that. But th that's a nice. So we could use that potential. Uh, th there's not many ice. Yeah, so we've got Sween Sweeper. So we can go and catch a big boy. Definitely going to use a Shile. We've got this guy. We've got you. I uh, don't think you're an ice. Don't think any of these are ice. You'd be cool if you was an ice. Okay. Uh, hey, yeah, that dude's crazy. All right. Well, we know what we're working towards now. Getting some ice and some ground types. Hell yeah, boys. Nice. So we explored a lot of the... Oh, I missed him. Oh, I believe he gives you a good blueprint. Level 48, not ready for that. 
But yeah, we went around. We killed a bunch of bosses. Pretty much every boss on this little island just here. We explored over here. We killed this dude. We got to the obelisk. Good shit. So I will start maybe looking into getting some more um, shillets, which we can find up here. There's that nine tails looking one. I might just catch a bunch of ice stuff. And maybe we can do a little bit of breeding. Get them ready for the boss fight. Yeah. Awesome shit. All right. Well, there we are then. Bit of a long episode exploring, boss fighting, getting shit done. I'm still got to breed some of them teethons. So again, that episode might come out before or after. We'll see what happens. But if you did enjoy today, make sure you are whacking a like. Make sure you are subscribing. Ring the bell. Never notifications. Thank you very much for hanging out. I'll catch you all in a bit. See you later. Bye.